Thưa quý vị, tại sự kiện Việt Nam NFT Summit 2022 ngày hôm nay, chúng ta sẽ cùng nhau tìm hiểu về hành trình ươm mầm blockchain và hiểu hơn về thách thức cơ hội tiến trình ứng dụng công nghệ blockchain. Sau đây, xin trân trọng kính mời ông Huy Nguyễn, Phó Chủ tịch Hiệp hội Blockchain Việt Nam và ông CG, nhà sáng lập và CEO của tập đoàn Binance cùng tiến lên sân khấu và đối thoại, chia sẻ kinh nghiệm đến toàn hội nghị của chúng ta. Please welcome on stage Mr. Huy Nguyễn and Mr. CG. Kính thưa quý vị đại biểu và tất cả quý vị có mặt tại khán đài hôm nay thì trong cái phần uh, trình bày uh, tham luận này thì Huy xin được trình bày bằng tiếng Anh để có thể uh, dễ dàng nói chuyện hơn với lại CG. Good morning CG, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. <cười> uh, it's an honor to be your host one more time. But, but this time the gonna... mine. The mine. Yeah. But this time we're going to do it a little different. We'll try to have a more open conversation. Uh, sure. We'll exchange thoughts and questions. Uh, and then the community would love to know more about you. We'll spend some time with them and they can ask some questions. We can do a CZ AMA. Sure, sure, sure. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um, so to get started, um, in my previous life, before coming back to Vietnam, uh, I have more than a decade uh, in Silicon Valley working yep. at Google. So I'm a true believer of the blockchain technologies, especially the you know, layer one infrastructure. I'm very curious on um, Why do you do BNB chain? Uh, what was your motivation? What was your vision? And um, do you think that that will be the trend of the new world where everybody would like to have an open ecosystem like BNB? Sure, I think um, my, my response may disappoint you <laughs> a little bit. Um, BNB chain wasn't developed by me, wasn't envisioned by me. Um, uh, we, there was a group of developers They said, hey, um, we want to build a blockchain, and we want to use BNB as the native coin on the blockchain, and this blockchain is going to have these features, uh, and we needed some support, funding. Um, so we said, how much was it? It was a very small number, actually. So we said, yeah, go ahead. Um, so that's pretty much my involvement in BNB chain, <laughs> to, be, to be very frank. Um, but generally, I think um, uh, myself, um, I've always tried to make um, new technologies being able to be used by a large number of people. So um, typically, technologies go through a few phases. Um, the first phase is what I call more academic or prototyping. Um, you, you prove the uh, technology works, but it may work. It may not. May or may not work at a large scale. Um, for a technology to be used by hundreds of millions or billions of people, uh, you need capacity, you need, you need performance. Uh, I've always been focused on the later part, so how to make, how to make the application being, be able to be used by hundreds of millions or, or, or billions of people. So BNB chain kind of took that as a general, general guideline, and then um, uh, it's, all, it's less about new features, it's much more about speed and performance. So BNB chain is much, uh, is much higher performance, and given the higher capacity, uh, it's lower fees. Um, so uh, by number of active users, uh, daily active addresses is, 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 much, is much more than the, uh, the other blockchains. Um, so it's really focused on a normal retail uh, uh, average per, uh, person, whereas if you look at Ethereum, um, the total value lock is high. Um, they is really mostly used for very expensive NFTs. Um, sometimes the network fees can cost up to $100 per transaction. So if, you, if, you're, not trans, if you're transacting for low-cost low, um, low items, it, it doesn't work that well. Yeah. Um, so what is your KPI to define success uh, for, for PNB chain? Is that more like a numbers of user, numbers of applications, or what? Um, so again, we didn't really, I, I don't have a KPI for them. Um, they are in the, they're community developers who just write code. Um, Uh, but in, in, internally in my head, um, I think the most important metric is always number of users. Um, so today, uh, both for, again, for, for any business or any project uh, I, I'm involved with, um, I care much less about revenues, um, incomes, uh, but m much more about number of users. Um, I strongly believe that if, something's used by some, if, some, if something is used by people, then you have value. If something is used by a large number of people, then it has a large amount of value, and you also have a large amount of liquidity. Um, so liquidity and number of users are, are, are really important. Yeah, okay. 
Thank you. Do you have any questions that you would like to ask? Um, yeah, so I, I, I'm very impressed with the blockchain association here. Um, to be honest, I before I so this is this is why Zoom doesn't work all the time. Uh, before I came here, I wasn't uh, aware of the level of advanced um, and also the level of collaboration you have with governments. So, what, what, uh, what's your plan in the future? What, ha what have you done in the past? What's your plan in the future, and how can we help? Uh, thank you. That's a great question. So, actually, you know, uh, Vietnam Blockchain Association was just founded, you know, a month ago. Yeah. Actually, two weeks ago, to be precise. And it was approved by many different uh, ministries within the government, like six or seven, I believe. Um, and as you can see from both the core team and the advisor, we try to pick the best of the people from many different fields to make sure that blockchain is really, you know, uh, get into the mass adoption. It's not about technology. It's not only about finance. It's not only about business and legal. Um, so uh, like I shared with you uh, a little bit uh, yesterday, um, the, the four things that we'll be really focusing on uh, to bring blockchain to the mass, that is basically the, the, the main objective. Yeah. We're going to go through uh, education route where we'll try to make sure that everybody uh, know the basic about blockchain, how it could help them, right? And from many different levels, uh, not only from the retails, but also from the business owner, from the government officials, yeah. and also from uh, international uh, sponsor like, like Binance in a yeah. big ecosystem. The second thing we try to do is to making sure that we create value by having a right product get into the right people. Uh, working with enterprise, working with collaborations, uh, corporations, and, uh, and get the real application going on. Uh, the third one, we're going to be working alongside with the government to create, to uh, you know, advise and propose different legal framework. Uh, as you can see uh, over here, we have many people from uh, you know, the Senate, right, yeah. where they can uh, learn from the technologies, propose the right legal framework. And for that, we definitely need uh, people with a lot of insight like you. Um, and the last one would be about international collaboration. Uh, we would like to invite many big, uh, you know, uh, uh, reputations, um, enterprise like Binance, uh, to come, uh, give us an insight about the world, uh, doing investment, and also maybe we could uh, do a sort of like a tech export for Vietnamese to go outside and, and do more contribution to the world as well. Sure, sure. Um, I, I, um, I'm very impressed by it. I hope we can continue to, uh, given the MOU that we just signed, I, uh, let, let's hope to do more together. Yeah, yeah, yeah thank definitely. You so much for I, see a lots of, I see a lot of alignment between yeah. what Binance is trying to do to reach more num uh, numbers of users, right? To grow the ecosystem and create value. That's exactly the same thing that uh, the VBA tried to do as well. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, yeah. So um, uh, there has always been a, um, a debate uh, about you know whether we need uh, tokens for uh, for blockchain project to be successful. So what your thought on it uh, is? Blockchain uh, project really about crypto economy uh, and the technologies, or can blockchain just succeed on it all? Um, so. I don't know the answer the question for sure. I don't know the answer for sure. Uh, I only have my opinion. Um, I, I I know there's many uh, there's many uh, uh, enterprises, companies, uh, countries trying to do blockchain without a token. Um, technically, theoretically, it could work, but I think it makes things a lot more difficult. Um, the blockchain Bitcoin blockchain works because you have the incentive structure in place. Um, so you have the Bitcoin coin um, that's incentivizing the either miners or node operators. Um, this is how to make that game theory work. You are financially incentivized to maintain the network. Um, the network itself is a self, um, self-working ecosystem. Uh, without, without tokens, without crypto, if you just want to do blockchain, you could do enterprise blockchain, you could do... Um, but you can't do a full, I think it's very difficult to get the game, economic, uh, game theory right so that people are incentivized um, uh, uh, natively in the, in the ecosystem. So um, I, I think it makes it hugely more difficult. So you do believe that there is a correlation somewhere between the game theory together with the technology that might, you know, blockchain really the decentralization? Um, abs uh, absolutely. I think, look, if we look at Bitcoin, if we, if we, if we, if, if we take Bitcoin away and just use the blockchain, um, there's no financial, there's no incentive. Without the incentives, 
51% uh, attacks could, ha could happen much more easier. There will be less miners. Um, there's just less, less of the ecosystem. Uh, whereas with uh, a token now, or with a coin, now you can design the token economics so that you have community users holding some coins, you have incentives um, for play to earn, for miners. So, uh, without the financial model in there, just the blockchain technology doesn't, the blockchain technology doesn't quite work uh, without the incentives. No. Okay, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Uh, you have any more questions? Um, I actually don't have. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, uh, last questions. Yeah. I, I know that a few years ago you actually, you know, Kaiser go on in with the blockchain technologies, um, and that bet turned out to be extremely well, as everybody knows now. Uh, but what would uh, you advise to the younger entrepreneur uh, in this field, in the tech startup? I know many of the uh, companies here are actually the entrepreneur trying to do something new with blockchain. Any mm. good advice for them? Sure, I think for, as, as I said the first thing uh, earlier today, the first thing I always recommend is risk management. Um, don't follow people's advice on Twitter, don't follow other people's strategies, think about your own strategy, think about your own risk. Um, that's for, uh, and start small. Um, start with 1% of your investable uh, portfolio, and then if you do well, then increase it. If you don't, then decrease it. Uh, so that's the number one thing. For uh, startups and uh, entrepreneurs, um, there's, a, uh, I have a, there's many advices or, or points, but I think most fundamentally, strip away all the sh fluffy stuff. Um, you have to have a product that people use. Um, I think we, we can use tokens to raise, raise money, we can use tokens to, as incentives to grow the ecosystem, but at the end of the day, you have to have the product that people actually use. So uh, without that, you don't, you don't have a sustainable uh, eco you don't have a sustainable product. So, um, and uh, it's quite easy to raise money in, in the blockchain space. Um, even, even in the bear markets, if you have some credibility, it's quite easy, but you need credibility. So, uh, protect your credibility. Um, it's actually one of the most, uh, in, uh, the ultimate currency. Um, other, than that, other, than that, other than that, just, you know, uh, I also, there's many things, of course, but um, we don't uh, play within the rules. Um, don't uh, don't don't uh, observe strong ethical standards. Don't uh, uh, don't 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 try to make quick money. Try to make long-term money. Long-term money is bigger. So um, yeah, I think there's a, there's, uh, uh, there's a lot. But um, at the fun fundamentally, just good product people use, uh, good service, high ethics. Um, a lot of startup trying to raise money now that they is having a questions of whether they should do the equities or more on the token uh, side of thing. Do you have any advice specifically for that? So which side of thing? Uh, no, I mean like any any advice for that? Should they do the equities or should they do the token sell? Uh, token sell versus uh, uh, equity sell. Like, Equ equity like, sell. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I personally believe token sales are much much easier to raise money than equity sales. Um, I think equity more or less uh, equity. Equity has some benefits. Um, if you're doing a B2B business, um, equity is easier. If you're doing a B2C business today in the blockchain space, um, tokens much, much easier. Uh, and also, uh, with, with a token raise, um, the model works very differently from the equity raise. Uh, if, if you, if you, uh, after you do a token raise, you don't need to have a board. So you still need, you still maintain your autonomy. Uh, you still, you don't, you don't have to go through many of the traditional complicated processes, but you are, you're answering to a community of users. Um, it changes the dynamic quite a lot, but I think given this new technology, from a founder perspective, using token raise is much, much easier. Uh, you get a lot more money. You retain a lot more freedom. Um, you do need to hold yourself to a high ethical standard because there are usually thousands or tens of thousands or even millions or hundreds of millions of people um, uh, 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 relying on you. Uh, mistakes can be very costly to your reputation and to, to, to millions of users. So, um, but overall, if you know how, uh, uh, if, if you have credibility and you do things ethically, raising tokens is much, much easier. Yeah. Awesome, that's a great insight. So yeah. I think that's all the, the, the question I, I would like to ask you and uh, maybe we can start with the communities over there. Sure, that, sure, sure. Yeah. Vâng, xin mời tất cả quý vị, chúng tôi sẽ dành 3 câu hỏi.